Hello professor, my name is Tilak Pasuthar and this is lab 1, predictive analysis. So this content uh, will be the raw data and clean data which are cleaned in Excel. Uh, Power BI sheets and Power BI dashboard with the Power BI with the Tableau sheets and Tableau dashboard and the references at the end. So the raw data I take, took from is uh, the Ontario data. So data.ontario, sorry, and uh, I cleaned it in the Excel, and then I imported it into the Power BI. So the first sheet here is the uh, fuel predictions for the North Bay city. This is the average fuel prices in cents. So from 1991 till 2020, and uh, as you can see, there's pretty much uh, differences in the price uh, in cents. And uh, I did for the North Bay. So I went to the forecast for the next 10 years. So from 2020 to 2030, and uh, I put the confidence interval to 95 percent so and uh, the seasonality i put 200 points so it will take the last 200 days to get the prediction and do the forecast for the uh, next 10 years so based on the pattern of last 200 days it will predict the whole 10 years so as you can see we have a pretty much uh, prices are going pretty much higher than a lower at certain points so the predictive forecast for the highest point is 96.33 cents to 72.70 cents so it can go higher and lower according to the predictions and the second uh, prediction here is for the fuel prices in Toronto so Toronto has pretty much a stable forecast so for the for 10 years so it's not much higher and lower going so this is also the same procedure as uh, analytics so for the next 10 years with a 95 percent confidence interval and 200 points for the seasonality and uh, this is the dash interactive dashboard i have here so when I click any certain point, so for the North Bay, when it was 115 cents for uh, Toronto, it was 124.4 cents in July 16, 2018. So as you can see, there is much difference in North Bay. Even though the I'm surprised that North Bay is uh, at north of the Ontario, and uh, we have to transport the fuel there from Toronto. So that's, and even though it has low price than Toronto, so I'm surprised by that. But as you can see, the predictions here is a uh, much difference in the forecast. So for the Tableau, I uh, take the sample store data and then put it in the columns and for the column I have region here so central east south and west and then uh, we have the date in years so we have like 2017 till 2019 and then we did the forecast for the next five years so from 20 to 2025 these are the profits for the next five years so when we, when we see for the west uh, in 2019 it was 24,000 $52 and for the 2020 it's uh, predicting the forecast for $42,000 in max so it's pretty good and then we have the forecast for the number of orders for the next five years so it was from between 4,400 orders to 562 orders for the furniture for office supplies it was 1500 dollars and for the next uh, five years it predict is predicting much higher number and then it also going lower at the end of 2025 
and uh, I have a dashboard here which is interactive so when I click 2019 we get the 2019 orders and uh, the profit for 2019 was $19,000 for the diff uh, all of the orders and then for the forecast it's much higher thank you